toolboxes, jigs, rigs, and offcuts. Good morning and welcome back to my workshop. It's 2020 and in today's video I'm going to talk about two boxes, jigs, rigs and what you can do with your offcuts. My first rig turning a heavy duty dining room table into a workbench. My neighbor was selling this heavy duty table and I jumped at the opportunity. I converted it into a workbench. The table was a little bit too big, so I had to make a plan. And let me show you what I did. And this is the table. I've put this in just to protect the car door when you open the door. Now there's two ways I use the table. I have a single leg that folds down. Or when I'm going to do heavy duty work. I've made the legs so that they concertina out and that makes the table very strong. I took two pieces of flooring, glued it together with a little bracket that goes into the table on the side just to protect the car when you open the door. This is a new addition to my toolboxes specially designed for wood turning and pen making and let me show you what happens inside everything is organized and within an arm distance very easy and practical to make life a lot easier I added these three sections. This is where all my sanding mesh is. And for the finer work. Perfect for pen turning. You can just work from there. Sand and polish. And all my buffing pads goes in there. This is very handy and it makes life a lot easier and on top I have all my super glues, activators and buffing compounds all in arm's length very easy I originally planned just to do the one toolbox, but I had enough offcuts to do another toolbox. Let's move on to the next toolbox. This is the toolbox from all the offcuts. This is where I glue the pin blanks, do all the assembly and keep all my bushings and so on and so on once again on top of the cupboard i've got extra storage there i keep all my glue and my oils on the left hand side i've added this for all my pen tubes and works in progress and bushings on the other side i've categorized all my different kind of bushings for different kinds of pins and I've labeled them added a bit of stick on magnetic tape at the back just to keep them in position a nice addition to my workspace at the bottom I've made space for my spare batteries and my drills this is offcuts well utilized
This is my first toolbox and this is where it all started. Once again, everything in the arm's length. I added that little drawer or fold out flap for my drill bits, my countersinks and so on and so on. And once again, very handy. If I'm drilling, I just bring this closer to where I'm working. And if I'm countersinking and adding screws, I just bring this a bit closer. Never get rid of your off cuts. They come in very, very handy, especially for small jigs. And I'll show you a few examples of, of a few jigs. This one I made up to hold the Banksia nut. Hold it in position with three screws and then you can rip and cut it to size. Jigs are good for workflow and also for safety. This protects your hands. You don't want to lose a finger. This is for my belt sander. This fixes the belt sander to the workbench and then I have two hands free. That's especially good for sanding anything that's round. This is for cutting pen blanks on the circular saw. You can replace this, but you can't replace your fingers. This is for sanding pen cases and it just speeds up to work. And then this little one is when I cut my pen blanks to size on the bandsaw. Just a few examples and there you go. Toolboxes, jigs, rigs and offcuts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Happy rigging and jigging. And until the next time, lacka lacka.